original DS2 controller for the 1925 Silent Science Fiction Adventures of Thriller of the Lost World. <coughs> Directed by Harry O. Hoyt. Stop motion. Headed by the legendary Willis O'Brien. He's a chief technician. But not even credit. Least credit to King Kong. The next movie get even bigger. This is a huge hit for the first national pictures in 1925. This stop motion is amazing. It's brontosaurus. This is this jerky. This the less you move it, the millimeter you move it. Like Ray said, the better it gets. The smoother it looks. And as they go along, him and Fred Jackman did it. The only guy he had really helped with the system. Some this is all tabletop animation when the volcano explodes in the plateau. It's amazing. All the dinosaurs are on. It's an all source. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good film. And then the remake in 1960, Earl and Allen did had great cast with. Claude Rains, a professor of challenger, had David Hedison, he's in the original Fly in 1958, it had Patricia Owens in the Fly too. That, that, that Lost World remake also had uh, Michael Rennie and Jill St. John, and had a good cast with Rains and John, and, and um, Jill St. John, Claude Rains, and um, Michael Rennie, David Hedison, but the missing link was the special effects, that, you know, they didn't couldn't afford painstaking realistic looking stop motion creations of the original dinosaurs of Willis O'Brien did which Marcel Lyle sculpted the dinosaurs off of Charles Knight's beautiful drawings that Dre Harrelson talked about before they couldn't afford to have the dead lizards with fins glued on their back and made them look bigger on screen magnified look bigger on screen with camera and camera trick effects so that was a little heartbreak that Willis O'Brien couldn't use stop motion so he took a lifetime perfecting these Realistic dinosaurs, and I mean, the original book was Arthur, so Arthur Conan Doyle. I mean, he took they took this to magicians, professional magicians at the time. They didn't know how it was done. Thought they were they had photograph, which filming is photographing pretty much. They took it to them, and they thought it was actual real dinosaur footage. They didn't know that they were just it was just a freaking special effects creator. Well, Sir Brian started this whole process in nineteen. 10 for Thomas as a mess around with clay figures. He realized you move them in frame, move them once in the limbs and take a frame of film, you can use the illusion of moving 24 frames per second. He did these clay comedy shorts, cavemen and dinosaurs, and worked his way up and eventually with metal armatures, ball and socket jointed, and built dead in cloth and made by hand like the dinosaurs and King Kong and King Kong himself and several different models used for that film. But also the God didn't want to do it at first I heard he went to Obi's studio and he saw how awesome it was and to do all this he really didn't want to do it at first he saw it was something to do and something really awesome to give him a lot of art and stuff and he gave him good money so he ended up doing it so one of the best movies of all time you're never going to beat the original Lost World I don't care what anybody says it still looks groundbreaking today